Hey guys, it's iTag every week, and I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iDevice on iOS 5, uh, either the Gold Master or iOS 5 Final, which was just released today at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, this is actually by Redstone 0.9.9 Beta 3, and this will jailbreak the GM. This version of Redstone was actually released uh, only for the Gold Master. Uh, however, uh, this will also jailbreak the, uh, the Final, which Apple has released earlier today, like I just said. Uh, it also jailbreak that by pointing, if you go to this extras right here, and uh, you go to select IPSW, you just go ahead and point it towards the Goal Master, which is, uh, let's see, oh, it's right here. Uh, so it's 9A334, and this uh, build number right here, or whatever you call it, I'm not exactly sure, but whatever this build is, uh, that's the same exact build as the final, so that's how, uh, that's why this will jailbreak it, so it doesn't make a difference. This will... This version of Redstone will jailbreak the iOS 5 final. It's just, I think it's pretty much the same exact uh, software. Uh, some people say there might be a couple things they fixed, but they didn't upgrade the build number. They didn't update the build number, excuse me, or whatever you call it. So we're just assuming that this is the same exact one as the final that they released er earlier today. There will be an update for Redstone uh, soon here, and rather than pointing it towards uh, the Gold Master, if you're running the final, you can just go ahead and hit jailbreak without even having to go to the extras and pointing it towards any software. So they'll update Red Snow, so you can just go in here, open it up, and hit jailbreak, and it'll figure it out. Uh, but as of now, uh, they didn't really, they didn't release it. So if you want, if you are running beta three, zero point nine point nine, uh, you're just gonna go into extras and point it towards uh, the gold master, not the final, the gold master. So that's what you'll have to do. However, this is a tether jailbreak, which means every time you turn your iDevice off and back on, you'll have to go into this extras tab right here and uh, go to just boot. And then you'll have to go into DFU mode again and boot it up in a tethered state, which I'll show you guys in the second part of this video. But we already pointed it towards the Gold Master in this, uh, by selecting the IPSW right here. So we can just go ahead and go back now and uh, hit jailbreak. So we're going to hit jailbreak and prepare all the jailbreak data. Uh, and again, if you uh, if it's, if you're using the the newest Red Snow, I'll put it in the description to make sure you guys understand this. Uh, if you are using the newest version of Red Snow, I'll update the links in the description so you can get that. And uh, you won't have to if you are running the newest one. So if you're running the same beta, you have to point it like I showed you. You go into extras, you have to point it towards the Gold Master. Uh, but if you're running the newest version, then you can just hit jailbreak without going into extras. But back to jailbreak. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so on the computer, we can see it has uh, the option to install City. You want to keep that. Uh, you want to enable battery centers if you want that, and you can enable multitask gestures if you want that. Uh, I'm going to enable both of these and make sure you have installed City checked. Uh, now, also, I actually am already jailbroken. If we open up my device right here, slide to unlock this. I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can get a closer look at this. Uh, but I already am jailbroken. You can see City right there, and to prove I am running, uh, the Goal Master or Final version, whenever you prefer to call it. Uh, this was the Goal Master that I installed. If there is any differences, this is the Goal Master, but I don't believe there's any differences. It's the same exact build, so it should be exactly the same. We're going to go to General, About, and you can see right there, version 5.0. And if this will focus, version 5.09A334. It's kind of hard to tell, but that's what it is, so uh, you guys can see that I'm jailbroken. Uh, but so this is possible. Just want to prove that to you guys right now. So let's go ahead and hit next in Red Snow. All right, now this is DFU mode. Uh, if you hit next, it'll go through the steps, but I'll explain it right here for you guys. But we'll just go ahead and count down the seconds right on, uh, right on the camera. I'll do that for you guys. So you're gonna first just hold down the uh, the power button and the home button together for 10 seconds. Then you release the power button and continue holding the home button uh, for 10 seconds and it actually goes into DFU mode around like seven or eight seconds, so let's go ahead and do this now. So uh, let's count down, and now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there you go, Red Snow uh, has kicked in. And it's exploding with Lime Rain, uploading the first stage, uploading second stage, waiting for the reboot. The device should do something now. And because I am jailbroken, uh, this will install a lot faster for my device because it's technically already on there. Uh, it won't move the applications into place. Like uh, I'll show you in a second here. Uh, the longest part of the jailbreak is not going to take place on my device because I'm already doing it. Uh, but once the pineapple, the running pineapple comes up, I'll show you guys. 
Uh, Red Snow actually says done now. It has next grayed out. Uh, there is actually no new. There's no next step, so you just hit cancel. But we'll just wait here for a little bit. Let's just finish up on our device. So it's doing some more stuff now, and I'm just gonna switch back to the computer here. All right, back at the computer now. Just waiting for this to finish up. Uh, while it's finishing up, I'm gonna explain the next part of the jailbreak. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit cancel on Red Snow. Go ahead and open up that same Red Snow. And now you're going to go to Extras and just boot. Uh, now I'm not going to do this yet, uh, so let's just wait a little bit. Oh, actually, we have to go back here, select IPSW. Uh, there's the Gold Master. Now we're going to just boot. So uh, we'll wait for this to finish up on our device. For some reason, it's taking a little bit. I'm not exactly sure why it's taking so long. But after it installs and the Red Snow is running and everything, uh, and everything finishes up, you'll see the Apple logo. When you see the Apple logo, we'll go ahead and... Uh, do the just boot to get it actually to get to get the city stuff running uh, if you wait the Apple logo It'll boot up like the Apple logo. It'll just disappear like a normal boot up uh, However city will be white and it will not work correctly You will have to go into redstone and do the just boot like I'm about to show you uh, so actually what it's telling us to do right now is uh, It's just telling us to do the DFU mode again like we just did uh, for the jailbreak itself uh, My iPod is not being responsive right now I'm assuming that is because I'm already jailbroken, so what we're going to do is your device should have installed everything correctly and you should be fine. Uh, but what we're going to do, right now at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and do the DFU mode. My iPod's already got City installed, so it won't be a problem. And uh, just make sure you guys go through the entire jailbreak and wait until you see the Apple logo to do this next part. Uh, and you do not have to wait for it to boot all the way up. When you see the Apple logo for the first time after jailbreaking, you do not have to do that. Uh, so we're going to switch back to the camera now. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and do the DFU mode again. So, power and home button for 10 seconds, release the power, continue holding home for another 10 seconds. So let's do that now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release power. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And Red Snow is doing something now, so I'm going to set this back down, go back to the computer. All right, so it's patching the files, exploiting with Limerain, uploading the first stage, uploading second, reboot, and we should see the Apple logo, I mean the pineapple logo, excuse me. So, and yeah, there it is. Um, and Redstone says done. So when you see that pineapple logo, that is a good sign. That means it did do it correctly. Uh, so now everything's done. Jailbreak has completed, and this should boot up in City. It will still be on my device because I already had it installed, but for you guys, it won't be white anymore, and it will be uh, the actual City icon, and Red Snow work perfectly. So I just want to go ahead and do this jailbreak. I'm probably not going to uh, repost with the second Red Snow. That's why I explained it in the beginning of the video. I'm going to update the download links and stuff like that for the newest version, and you won't have to go into Extras and select the IPSW. You'll just, you'll just be able to go to the jailbreak and do it that way without pointing it towards the Gold Master. However, you will have to do this just boot. It's still a tethered jailbreak even if you have the, if you have the newest Red Snow. Uh, you'll still have to do this just boot tethered. So we're going to head back to the device now because it has booted up fully. So I'm going to slide this to unlock. And uh, you can't see City is still down there. We go ahead and click on that. Camera is... Uh, I'm actually shooting this through a glass table, so uh, the camera... You can see it's got like some uh, glowing going on, but City works, you guys. Uh, when you boot it up, it'll ask, it'll ask you who you are, user, developer, or hacker. You can choose whichever one doesn't matter. Uh, probably user, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I would just do user. So City works correctly. Everything's good. Just make sure before you turn off your device that you have a computer near so you can get your device to boot back up uh, using Red Snow because this is a tethered jailbreak. So the untethered jailbreak for iOS 5, the final, uh, should be out within a couple of weeks, days. I have no idea what's going on. So I'm going to head back to the computer now to finish up this video. So that's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video and everything worked out good, go ahead and hit like down below. Uh, also, if, you're into, if you run into any problems, uh, go ahead and contact me by leaving a comment or anything like that, and I'll go ahead and respond to you and help you out with your problems as well as I can. So I hope this jailbreak goes through smoothly for you guys and you have no problem with it. Uh, but if you do, just make sure to contact me and I'll help you out. You guys can go ahead and subscribe up top uh, to be notified whenever I release new videos on your YouTube homepage. That's it for this video, guys. This was iTech every week. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.